What's up, Mirits? Hello, and welcome back to another Wednesday video. Today, we are reviewing Crowald Traces of the Lost Colony. This is a side scroller game about one of the biggest mysteries ever known to mankind, and that is of the Lost Colony. We're playing as a young adventurer, Hugh Radcliffe, who set off on a journey to deal with pirates and mysteries and conspiracies to try and learn what exactly happened to the Lost Colony. In 1587, the first colonists disappeared in Roanoke. Crowalt was the only thing left on a tree. They only left a carving on a tree. Even though that Crowalt to my knowledge is not what it said. 150 years later, an adventurer pursues this mystery. Ooh, epic. He comes to crawl out after a tough trip on stormy seas. As always, since I'm recording this for Wednesday video, I was contacted by the devs and given a key to the game, so thank you very much for that. There's gonna be a link down below in the description for the free prologue if you wanna check it out yourself. And here we are, Hugh, on a stormy dock. What happened to my ship? I guess everyone died and I'm the only one that survived. What a trip that was. I knew that this trip would melt a big chunk of my money, but I didn't think that convincing the captain to let just one person off would empty my whole pocket. Also, everyone survived. They just dumped me, that's cool. Well, him being able to come even near here takes skill for sure. True. Despite all these hardships, I can already feel that it'll be worth it. It's time to pursue my own discoveries. Crowald is going to be the place where I find myself, I know that. Now I need to find some place to spend the night. Well, okay. I love it when prologue games just bombard you with a screen of instructions. <laughs> okay, so long story short, I means that that's something you can observe. Child bubble, talk with a person. Hand symbol that you can fiddle them and also interact with the environment. This is how I know that I can move you because this is a point and click game. This is my inventory, this is my journal. Spacebar emphasizes important items on a scene, don't know what that means. And 1 plus 1 means I can combine items. Everyone knows what the disket symbol means. Do I have any items? A shilling. That is the only thing I'm left with. Cool, I'm dead. Here's my journal. Last day in Paris, a cold hut. Peaceful night. What? Okay, the font is kind of hard to read. I'm ready for a new adventure, but sure gonna miss this city. Maria Helen will be my home for the next days. It's gonna dock to crawl out just because of me. We had very difficult time so far in the ocean, but there is something mighty with this ship. So, the mystery about the Lost Colony is a very real thing. However, I don't think the word crawl out is real. I think it's just made up for the game. I guess it may be copyright issues. However, this is one of my favorite mysteries, actually. There was a whole season of American Horror Story dedicated to it. Right, I guess I can't interact with this. <gasps> Toolbox! Touch it! Must have a key. Damn it, I don't have a key. Little Rock, is there a key beneath it? I knew it! There's the key! Oh, so that means that I have to select it from my inventory, I guess. And I drag it? Okay, Toolbox. I unlocked it, open. Give me hammer, give me nail puller. Abandoned boat. Seems like it's been unused for a long time, but the awning is nailed. Okay. <gasps> Head into town, let's go! Oh, if I press spacebar, it shows me everything in the scene that's interactable. Cool, cool. Tatanka tribe? I have enough time for this. Why? I wanna go there now. So one thing I would like to mention, I love the style. I've always been a fan of pixel art. Marketplace. What can I interact with here? Town entrance. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what's this? Stay away. Alright, persuasive enough. Farmhouse. Looks like they've used their space very efficiently. Why do I care about that? <gasps> Can I sleep on the bench? Riley! This looks like an inn. Wet shoes. Not allowed. Well, I'm fucking sorry that it rains. I guess the sign is clear enough. I have to take care of it before I get even more wet. It's either my feet or the sign. Fuck it up then. How am I already stuck? This is a demo. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Oh, you know what I just remembered? That boat we saw. It had like a... Piece of cloth uh, nailed to it, right? Maybe I used the nail puller on this. <gasps> you might have to merge some items in your inventory from time to time. You can merge them by dragging one of the two related items on the top of the other. Excuse me, I'm supposed to merge hammer with nails. <gasps> hammer and nails. Wooden plate. Fresh fish. Perfect. Now I can put that on my pants. I put the fresh fish sign above the, the wet shoes. Nice. Do I nail it down now? Perfect, I did. So now it just says fresh fish. 
Great, and now I just have a hammer. Cool, cool. What's up, guys? Huh, even that thunder noise is enough to make someone feel exhausted. Finally, a warm and sheltered place. That woman must be Riley. I can rent a room by talking to her. Yeah, I'm sure she won't notice my wet shoes just because I took care of the sign in front. What's up, woman? Bonjour, madame. You must be Riley. And you must be a genius. Tell me what brought you here on such a stormy night. I'm an adventurer. I'm after the lost colony. If you're one of those crazy treasure hunters, you can get along well with those pirates who come to crow out from time to time. Even if you're not, I think you might have a hard time finding a lost colony. Everything is in apple pie order here, and it doesn't matter if we're lost as long as we make ourselves alive. Damn, Riley, who the fuck shot in your shoes, dude? Chill. No, no, I'm not after treasure or anything. Apparently you don't know much about what I'm looking for either. Look, you give me a room and I won't keep you busy, I'm quite tired. Upstairs, you can take the room in the far right corner. The key must be somewhere upstairs, after all we're a small town. Is this how you run an inn? There are not many threats around, so you better make sure you're not one either. I have no doubts about that. After all, I'm not a man who lives by the sword. The ones who put their swords back in their place live a more peaceful life. Dude, okay, it happened one time. I just forgot to put my peepee -pee back in my pants. Stop bringing it up, Riley. Oh, thank you. I can't think of anything else right now. I'm Hugh, by the way. Hugh Radcliffe. Alright. <laughs> Hugh. Oh, okay, bye. Jesus, bitch. Uh, oof. Nothing like downstairs. It's damn cold in here. Okay, Lamau. Vase. He's not in the vase. Oh, yeah, cool. I'm supposed to look for the key. I forgot because that's how you're running in. Quite empty. Quite empty. <gasps> Brushes. A fucking voodoo doll in a book. Uh, so there's another bookworm like myself around here. Can I? <gasps> I knew it. I can move items. Perf. I found everything. Far right corner. And here we go. Yeah, it's always a great sign when I go in a hotel room and I'm greeted by random porn posters. And on the other side of the room, there's a dream catcher. <gasps> Big clock. Yes, I'll take it. Holy Bible. I must have no doubt that Riley is a religious person. The lovers. There's artifacts in the game. An artifact added to your list. Artifacts are extra content independent from the main story. They still might possess interesting facts about the town's history. You can find hidden artifacts throughout Crow World and go through the artifacts you acquired using the pause menu. Can I pick this up? Yes, I'm gonna pick up everything. Thank you very much. I'm gonna pick up the shirt. Oh, the buttons fell off. Let's go. Map. A map? But what exactly does it show? Alright, let's just go to bed. Sleep, sleep. I need a suiting sleep. Cool. Night? Ah, perfect. As suiting as they come. A dream about a graveyard and a scary woman in a cloak. Uh, where? Oh, it's a mysterious man. I'm sorry. I kind of mistook that emo fringe for a, for a chick. This is where you meet your destiny, young man. Come closer. Um, okay. Hi. Let me touch you. You came to crow out to find a rust colony, but this actually is a lot more than an adventure for you. Something that you have desired for a long time. You are the lost colony. <gasps> this is going to be your first expedition without your master. What do you mean? I'm my own master? Oh, thank you very much. You can make it, of course. But you have no idea how strange of a thing you're getting yourself into. Like the most least ominous way to describe something. He warned you, but by God, even he was not expecting this much. How do you know all that? Who are you? There will be enough questions that you need to answer in Crow Out. I'd say don't add to them. Take this cloth and if you want to take a closer look at your destiny, clean the gravestones. I bet I died here, past tense, because there's definitely gonna be like a, a time thing, I assume. Hey, the guy just disappeared out of nowhere, what's going on? I actually didn't even see that, I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time working all this out. Dude, you're just having a scary nightmare, chill out. It doesn't work right now. What the fuck do you mean it's a wet cloth? What more do you need to clean dirt? There we go, that worked. Oh cool, I can telekinesis wet cloths, that's perfect. What's that? It says Russ. I bet that I'm gonna choose the, the right one last. It says Riley. Oh, the entire town is going to die because of me, probably. Because Riley is the innkeeper. I don't know who Russ is, but I bet you we're gonna meet him. Oh, these people. Oh my god. 
I'm not sure that's a person. It literally says Tawa. That could literally be someone's pet. It sounds like a cat name. There's people naming their cats Sewage. Alright, what's the last one? Walton. There's only one left. Oh, I see. And that's gonna be the one that has my name on it. Cool, cool. So these are gonna be my compatriots along the way of the story, I see. Clean it off. Gonna say Hugh. <gasps> yeah, that was to be expected. Hugh? 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 Oh my god, I'm sweating profusely. Stinger music. Am I gonna get jump scared? <laughs> this can't be real. What's happening? It's impossible. Hey! Come out, wherever you are, and tell me what's going on here. Now you wake up. Oh my word! Fortunately, it's just a nightmare. The trip must have exhausted me a lot. Or maybe it's that Dreamcatcher's fault. It's just saying. I hope I can sleep well this time. Oh, cool, I'm just going straight back to bed. I hate Lamau. I feel refreshed. Let's get down to business. New page has been added to your journal. You can see it by clicking the icon at the top right. Yeah, but it's not visible right now. Thank you for making it visible. Loop. My first day in the new world. I have left everything behind. It excites, but scares me at the same time. Riley, it's a cute place for a small town like this. It looks warm to me so far. When did I have time to draw all this? <gasps> oh my god, it's Piraten. Dude, this guy has a bloody eye. Morning, Riley. You have a really lovely place. I had a great sleep. Ugh, I'm glad to hear that. I wouldn't have accepted anything less than that anyway. I saw a sign indicating that there is a tribe nearby. What do you think about them? Yes, we share these lands with a tribe. It's quite understandable, given that we are the ones that arrived later to these lands. Actually, they look like reasonable people, but Governor Walton... <gasps> that's one of the names. ...is the one who controls the town's relations with them. My relations with them do not go beyond trade. Hmm, it seems like I have to meet with Mr. Walton first. Frankly speaking, I'm a little relieved about the tribe. It is none of my concern. I don't care about anyone. Ugh! Do outsiders come here often? Usually, it is ships coming to trade. Occasionally, Edward and his crew stop by. Edward is the one who is sitting in the corner and is missing an eye. Fucking dick. To have a good relationship with them, they don't let other pirate ships get too close to here. People like you don't stop by much. Honestly, it relieves me that you have a good relationship with the pirates. Just like you were relieved that they have a good relationship with the tribe. Can you chill, you? You show a bit of personality? Throughout my journey to Crowout, I've heard some unpleasant things about pirate dangers in the colonies. None of my business! I told you I don't care! Ugh. Hey, by the way, if you're gonna stay more than a night, you have to pay two shillings in total for up to a week. I don't want to give you a headache because you were tired yesterday, but right now you can't step outside this door without giving you my money. I, I, I thought you could give me a little more time for this. I have only one shilling left, if you accept. No exception skill! Ugh! I can't possibly grant a favor to an outsider like you, since I not even grant it to an acquaintance. I don't care about people. Furthermore, in places like this, there can be different ways of earning money. You should get moving. Go sell your kidney or your body. I don't know, suck a dick. <gasps> There's a person coming. Russ. <gasps> this is gonna be my best friend. I'm calling it. Look at him. He looks like an adventurer just like me. Uh, hey, Riley. I brought what you asked of me. I've put them in that box over there so they don't get shattered. Thanks, Russ. I must have already paid for them. I remember, Riley. I'm not that senile yet. See you. Oh good, Russ. Ugh. Psst. I might be able to help you with your little problem. Oh wait, no, that's Albert. You don't have to worry about the payment. I can handle this easily. Just touch my peepee. -pee. By the way, I'm a merchant. Crowout is one of my stops. Name is Albert. Nice to meet you, Hugh. You know what? I'm gonna make Albert the guy that always whispers. Well, thank you. Huh? Nice to meet you too, Albert. But why do you always whisper? Shut the fuck up. More importantly, I can help you with your main goal. Yes, Riley has told me about you and your search for the lost colony. Really? Although I was ready to work hard for it, I cannot refuse such a convenient offer. Of course, Hugh. Not a big deal. Just touch my peepee. -pee. It's just, um, let's keep our voices down. Oh my god, he is actually whispering. I love it. So the people around can't hear. Only if you help me with something just a little bit risky, like touching my peepee. -pee. Oh, um, thanks. I uh, won't take it. I'm too new in this town to take this kind of risk. He didn't even say what he wanted. What are you on, Hugh? Do you know how to human? I'll find another way to make the payment. Whatever you say, Hugh, my offer is always on the table. Soon you will realize that a familiar face will be very useful to you in this town. Sure, whatever. Ugh. Look, Hugh, I have to admit that you don't look like a harmful person. So I'll make an offer for your convenience. I have to leave for a short time to get a job done. Clement has not arrived either. 
Can you take care of the service until I get back? Uh, alright, at least I can do that. Well, then come over to this side. Ugh, listen. The townspeople like to start drinking early. This place might get pretty crowded soon. Our problem is that we may not be able to meet this demand. In other words, our current beer stock may be insufficient. That's why I need to leave. You'll do a good job if you manage the situation by using a little water until I arrive. That's what I normally do anyways. Ugh. Water? So, are we going to fool customers? Keep your voice down, bitch! Can you imagine how difficult it is to run a place by yourself in this town? Ugh, you don't even know what's on my shoulders. Ugh, don't judge me. Only God can judge me. I think I'm liking Riley's character a little bit too much. Just do what you gotta do. Alright, I'll do it. I'm counting on you. Get to work. Well, okay. Art of cheat ending? Cool, thanks. Glass has five parts to be filled with either beer or water. Every customer will describe to you the strength of beer they want. Try to satisfy them with a minimum amount of beer by filling the empty part of the glass with as much water as you like. You need to fill at least one part of the glass with beer in order not to dissatisfy the customer, so every glass will come with one part filled with beer. Your water amount is not limited, so don't worry about it, but you have a limited amount of beer, 70 units. If the customer realizes that you are putting water into their drinks, they will refuse it and the beer you used will go to waste can't make it to the end with the limited amount of beer, you will fail, we need to try again. Wow, so this is like a definite thing that you gotta do. Interesting. Alright, let's start. Sun roasted me on the field today, a strong drink ought to fix me up, let's go. Dude, everyone can suck my ass. You get no beer, just water, suck me. Oh shit, did I fail? Okay, so two parts beer, three parts water, are you good? What am I supposed to give him? How am I supposed to know exactly what... Should I just give him straight up beer? Here you go, straight up beer. I think my last coin will be enough for this second glass. Okay, now that he wants a second glass, I'm gonna pour a little bit less. Ah, cool down at last, now time for a good old afternoon nap. Alright, I can't play, what's happening? Oh, I can't skip that, that's weird. Hey pal, I only have enough money for one drink. Cool, you get three parts beer. Yeah, that's really picky. I'm supposed to like decipher what they say, that's weird. Riley's liquor never fails you. Wish I was lucky enough to drink it every day. It's just beer. Also, why do they disappear? Are these people ghosts? <gasps> I found a lost colony and I'm serving it beer. I just lost to those damn pirates at a game of five finger fillet. You'd better give me something to forget the pain. Four parts beer, one part water. Boom. Oh my god, fuck you. Five parts beer, ass. It's not my fault you stabbed your finger. Go on, keep them coming. There's still enough space in my stomach. Now you get three parts beer. You've already drank enough beer. Come on, continue. It gets better the more I drink it. Cool. Now you get two. Should have given him one if I gotta be honest. There, piss water. The pain has lessened. Even if just a little. There he goes, phasing in and out of existence. Cool, cool. She doesn't even know about of my existence. Yet I still deeply miss her eyes. Can you get me something? What will stop me from thinking? Alright, man. You get four parts beer and one part water. Just because I feel you. Going to need more of that. Yeah, two parts beer, three parts water. Second time is four parts beer. I'm really wasting the beer here. People are really picky. Looks like even these won't be enough to extinguish my inner flames. Thanks anyway. Okay, I'm sorry. My arms are numb from cutting meat all day. Make me forget this pain. Again, okay. <laughs> People in this town really like to drink. Everyone has some sort of pain. Huh? Dude, this game is existential. Oh my fucking god! I'm gonna fail, I have to stop failing, because my beer is being wasted. Give me some more. This time you just get two, this is your third glass, asshole. Also, where is Riley getting the beer from? Like, the next island? Also, I really hate that I gotta wait so much for different people. Who are you? Where the hell is Riley? Whatever, give me something strong. Oh, fucking, I can't risk it, I'm gonna give her four ounces of beer and one water. Thanks, honey. More power to you. Oh, she just wanted the one. Okay. I'm going to sail tomorrow. It is my last chance to get a nice buzz. Still, give me something not so strong. You have it, buddy. One, one ounce of beer coming up. Boom. Here, take my piss. Fucking dicks. Each and every single one of them. You said you didn't want something not so strong. I'm wasting beer. I hope you drown tomorrow as you sail. By the seas, fishes are spinning around my head already. I'd best make my way to the docks. Yeah. Yeah, you best. Box disappeared. What happened? Hello, it was a really long night. Can I have something to drink? He's like the only person that genuinely asked nicely. But then he was a dick. However, he has a gun, so maybe I shouldn't piss him off. Here. 
And another one, my friend. This time you get three. And I swear to God, if you don't take it, I will lose my shit. There's two more people. If I fail this now, I'm gonna be very... Please work. Thank you. Okay, I gave him four, and he took it. Now I should be on my... Oh, wait, no, I have two more. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to replay this. I feel thirsty after traveling all around and singing songs. Could you give me something that is enough to quench that? You should be drinking water, not beer. Please don't hate it. I hate it. I failed. I'm gonna have to replay this. I replayed everything off camera because it's really irritating that I have to wait in between people for them to face in and out of existence. And it's also kind of weird that you just have to try and figure out based on what they're saying how much you're gonna give them to drink. But usually what I found out is that it doesn't matter what they're saying if you just give them five ounces of beer the first glass and then if they want another one you just keep subtracting one and then everyone is happy and right now i'm on 10 out of 10 and i'm down to 14 ounces of beer left so i'm pretty good however apparently this is super intertwined with the story because my 10th visitor is apparently a wizard and here is what he says i haven't seen you around here before but it is as if i felt your arrival would you give me something to drink, my boy? Alright, Gandalf, you get five. Just for me, dude. Here you go. Take care, wherever you're going. May light guide your way. Or maybe I'm just completely mistaken that this is important to the story. Maybe it was just random. It just felt important that he's a wizard. Riley, you're here. As you can see, I took care of everything without any problems. Yes, I can see that, Hugh. I can also see that the box left by Russ is missing. Oh shit, yeah, it did disappear. Your work is irrelevant to me now. How could you let the box be stolen? I didn't know that it was my responsibility, you bitch. You said nothing. It's not my concern here, just make the payment. You can be sure that you won't like the bad side of me. Isn't that right, Edward? Yo oh, ho 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 ho! <laughs> yeah, the boss here, Riley, and we love ye. Alright, alright, I'll take care of it, Jesus Christ. Uh, wait, what? R Riley made it clear that I cannot leave here before paying my debt. How am I supposed to find the box then? So, oh, guest doctor pirates, what's up, Edward? Hello, fellas. Ahoy, lad. Would you bet anything with me? I can bet one shilling. We don't need your doubloons. Our last hit was good enough. Ain't that right, Jack? Indeed. I, I, <laughs> We're gonna watch you try five-finger fillet just to decide if we be gonna respect ye. If ye don't hurt yourself more than five times in five runes, we'll give ye a shilling. But we be sure that ye cannot do this. If ye cannot do it, we won't loot your doubloons or anything. Your pain will be enough for ye. Ain't that right, Jack? It really be Edward Bloodyfingers, you momo. Well, I'll take it. Even though I've never tried it before, my options are limited, so I guess I'll stab my hands. Who needs fingers anyways? Come on then, let's see your skills. So, it's another minigame. Cool. Shake hands with danger. To complete this challenge, use the indicated keyboard to allow keys. Each attempt, from left to right, and right to left will count as one round. If you can complete 10 rounds without injuring your hand more than 5 times in total, you will beat Edward and Jack in that bet. So... Oh, and I stabbed it. Ow! Ow. I love the sound effects. Alright, so this is basically DDR. Let's do it. Profession, no! It's one round, I only stabbed my finger once. That's okay, I didn't need that one anyway. I'm never getting married, I'm gonna die on this island, remember? So, it's good. That's three rounds. This one is a lot easier. But yeah, as I said, it is DDR. So, this is a side-scrolling point-and-click game about a really cool topic of one of life's better mysteries. It tells a story, and you progress by doing minigames. What more could you want from a game, really? Boom! Speed run. Oh yeah, baby. Mm -mm -mm. However, it does tend to be a little long. Because I have to do DDR 10 times as the timer gets really fast. Because. Attaboy! Oh, shit, dude, do I. Alright, I guess I really am that good. Never mind, I'm not complaining then since I'm winning. <laughs> How come? You said you've never tried it before. Hey, uh, Edward, honestly, I've barely even held a knife before. No more lies, whatever Edward says is true. Be gone. Do I have a shilling? Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Do I talk to Albert now? Does your offer still stand? I will suck your dick. <laughs> of course. Changed your mind. Luck not on your side. I have to. It was not as easy as I had predicted. Oh, you. Will you help me about the lost colony matter? I will, Hugh. As a matter of fact, to earn your trust, I will even give you something that will delight you. Here you go. New artifact added to artifacts. This... This is actually the Queen's decree on the colony of Roanoke. It is precisely that. Truly magnificent. I wasn't expecting to make progress this quickly. There will be more too. Now let's get to what you will do for me. Let's go in the back and um, you can touch my peepee. -pee. 
I cannot read that, but okay, we saw it. I want you to go to the marketplace and see the man with the green hat. Hand him this pouch. He will tell you about a house. Meet me in front of it. Don't forget to take the key too. Well, I'll do what you say. And remember, Hugh, this will be a pretty beneficial partnership for both of us. Alright, I guess I'm going. Well, I knew that it wasn't gonna be easy, but it's getting more complicated than I thought. At least I'm a real adventurer and I won't back down from this. What's happening? There's a cutscene. I like the music. Why is the camera zooming in? Oh, okay, that was a really sharp turn. <laughs> right, so... Yep, okay, end of prologue. Crowald, Traces of the Lost Colony. Thanks for playing. Please add the full version to your Steam wishlist. As I said, link to the game down below in the description. This will be it for today's video and for Crowald for the time being. Clap. Let me know what you dudes thought about the game and what you think about the mystery of the Lost Colony if you've ever heard about it. Definitely let me know if you want me to play this when the full version comes out. Other than that, if you didn't enjoy and you haven't done so yet, please do leave a like, it is very much appreciated. Other than that, all the usual stuff as always is down below in the description. Like the subscribe button, the bell icon, join button, Twitter, Discord, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, keep being awesome, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.